Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Eric KJ4YZI, and actually it says it on my R Finder shirt right here. I saw Bob last February at Orlando Hamcation, and he was out there, and I said, Bob, I want one of those shirts. I want one made over there. And he came back with a shirt, says R Finder on the back, says my name and my call sign on the front. So I'm gonna wear it. This is the first time you've seen this in video, but thanks Bob for making that. You're watching Ham Radio Concepts. I am KJ4YZI. We have a new hotspot right here, courtesy of Bob from R Finder, W2CYK, and Gigaparts. And there's more than just a review to this. How about a coupon code for the next 30 days to get $30 off of this, courtesy of Gigaparts, and a giveaway, courtesy of Gigaparts and R Finder, to give one of these away in 30 days. Stay tuned to watch the video to learn more. This is what they call the HCP1. This is the Hot Chili Peppa, number one. I guess they're gonna probably come out with a number two. From R Finder, it is a quad band all digital mode pocket hotspot. The Hot Chili Peppa. I didn't put the A at the end, Peppa. And it does say on the side, WTCYK's warning. This is the Surgeon General's warning here. Use of R Finder products may create intense feelings of fun and euphoria. Do not hesitate to use them regularly or to combat extreme boredom, fatigue, and or solitude. And don't forget to ham it forward. So ham it forward, yes. We're gonna give one of these away in 30 days. All you have to do is subscribe to my new channel, The Ponderosa. Whole bunch of different things coming there. I just gotta find the time. All you have to do is subscribe to that channel and leave a comment in the video for this giveaway and the comment will say, thank you, Bob. Okay. Thank you, Bob, with your call sign or a way to get a hold of you. And in 30 days, I'm going to pull randomly with a randomizer. It's going to say, pick subscribers that left this comment, and it's going to pick one. I'll do it online. 30 days, you can win one of these courtesy of Gigaparts, who is the exclusive uh, seller of the hot chili pepper. Bob, W2CYK from R Finder, they have the M1, the K1. Well, they had those. Now we're up to the B1, dual band, VHF, UHF, Android smartphone with DMR and analog on it. We're waiting to see one of those one day. Those have been out for a little while, but I want one. Right now I'm using my Anytone 878 EV Plus for DMR and analog, but we're gonna see one day, hopefully. Tell Bob, Bob, get one in Eric's hands. You already got him a shirt. You helped him get a hot spot. Bob, get me a B1, I want one. Let's get a video on that. We'll put it together with the hot chili pepper. Anyways, the code for Gigaparts, in order to order one of these for $30 off, that would be $2.59 for 30 days while this giveaway happens, then the code expires. Is HRCP. Put that in at checkout, get $30 off. Thank you, Gigaparts. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everybody, for watching. But this video uh, right here starts the 30-day giveaway as you see it. So go to the other page, look in the description, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you, Bob, with your call sign or a way that I can get a hold of you. Make sure you're watching when I do the giveaway, and I'll make sure one of these hits your hands free. Ham it forward just for you guys watching. Anyways, let's check out the hot chili pepper. Now, this is a dual slot pocket hotspot, self-contained, and actually, you remember the jumbo spot? I didn't realize there was a, actually in a jumbo. There's a Mr. Jumbo out there. And jumbo is good friends with Bob. So jumbo helped with Bob. They together created the R Finder hot chili pepper HCP-1. So it comes with a micro USB, okay? And that's all it really needs to come with because the instructions are on the back. This is not rocket science, but the reason that I'm explaining this and I'll show you a snapshot here, what it says is because maybe this is your first hotspot. This is probably going to be my official mobile hotspot and replace my open spot three. That's in my vehicle I've been beating up every day. Maybe I'll give that away, maybe I'll sell it, maybe I'll keep it, whatever. This is going to be my new mobile hotspot. Why? Because it's got the battery built in, runs on Wi-Fi, it runs on Pi Star, it's got the screen on here, and uh, it just looks pretty cool. It's got a, actually a bigger battery than the uh, Open Spot 3. Open Spot 3 is great, I'm not bashing it, I love that. I said I'd never have a hotspot again. Then I saw this after taking a couple months hiatus, I said, I gotta have one, wow. So the R Finder HCP1, 3000 milliamp battery, okay? This, the TFT screen on the front, which is nice color screen, easy to see. Uh, it does have all digital modes and it is quad band, which means you can use this for two meters, 144 megahertz, 220 megahertz, 440 megahertz, and 800 megahertz, which means 
So it's dual slot plus you could use it with a uh, Harris P25 800 megahertz radio. How about a 800 megahertz Motorola for DMR? How about a UHF Anytone or a B1 from R Finder for DMR? How about a 220 radio? Who's got a 220 DMR radio? If you got one, maybe you got it for BridgeCon or somewhere else, you could use it on this hotspot. There's a reason that they have four different bands in there is because it, it appeals to a lot more people. How about the digital modes on this? So you could do D-Star, DMR, C4 FM System Fusion, P25, NXDN, Poxag, whatever else, DMR to Fusion, uh, whatever else is in PyStar currently. PyStar is a wide platform. You can do it on this device right here, self-contained with the battery and uh, an easy setup. So you have a preloaded 16 gigabyte micro SD card here. They used a good one, pre-imaged, preloaded with PyStar ready to go. On this side, you have a power switch, uh, a main power switch. You can shut the thing on and off totally. It's also got a power button on the side. So you could take this and shut it off with the button on the side, okay? So um, let's, real quick, uh, I'll give you a brief here. All I have to do is after three minutes of this being on, go to a device, I recommend a laptop first. Look for Wi-Fi networks that are in your vicinity first. And it's gonna come up with a Wi-Fi access point that this is providing, a labeled PyStar. You're gonna click on that, log into it, open a browser, and the instructions are on here. Open a browser, go to the PyStar setup. And then you can put in your credentials, set in your call sign, your DMR ID, whatever frequency you want, whatever mode you want, and away it goes. And at the end, it does say, just add some digital RF. Makes its own sauce. Bob, you're trying to be funny. I love you, Bob. I, I got a shirt, Bob. I want a B1. Everybody leave a comment. Give Eric a B1. And I'll see you again, Bob, because you're making me another shirt. Anyways, let's look at um, the, the PyStar dashboard here. So to be a very basic, not a config uh, video here, a lot of videos on the internet, I even did one myself for DMR in the past. Once you're connected to the PyStar hotspot that's available and the password is Raspberry, go to a browser, type in pi-star.local and it'll take you to the PyStar digital voice dashboard. It's a generic M1 ABC call sign that's set in there. It says right here, no mode defined. So the first thing you want to do is go to configuration. And this is just very basic to get you going, okay? This is what happens right here in the PyStar dashboard. This is what you're looking at where you're going to configure your hotspot, okay? First thing I would do is go down here to the Wi-Fi and hit configure Wi-Fi. And it's going to ask you again, pi-star and raspberry is the password. And it'll let you configure your Wi-Fi once this page actually loads. Sometimes, depending on your computer or your Wi-Fi adapter or whatever, it, it might act a little slow. See, so scan for networks. You click that, and it's going to scan for 10 seconds and see what's available in your area. Because you're connected directly to it, now you want to scan for the Wi-Fi in your area. And there you go right there. Look at all the pass or the, uh, the, the Wi-Fi's that are here. I'll click mine here, and then I'll put in the password. Okay, and hit save and connect. And now it's going to uh, connect from your, instead of your laptop, it's gonna to connect to the internet. And now you're going to go back to your Wi-Fi and look for your Wi-Fi here. Okay, and then you're back on the internet. Now in about two minutes, you'll be able to go back into pystar-local, pystar.local. It'll pop up on the internet, you're on the same network. Now you can configure it for your, your DMR ID, your call sign, the mode you want, uh, and all that. Right now it's connecting to Wi-Fi, so you gotta give it a second here. And back like that, I am back on the pi-star.local dashboard here. Re-enter my password, and now you'll see on the bottom, I am configured to my home Wi-Fi. Right here, interface is up, I have an IP address and such. So now at this point, you would set up some stuff here, your call sign, your, your frequency you want, stuff like this, and uh, you know apply changes. So the modem selection has been updated. Now, there you go. This is the MMDVM host configuration. For instance, if you want a DMR, you would turn this on. If you want to turn all the modes on, you can turn on all the modes like this. 
But then you have to worry about the hang time here, the RF hang time, because it's very confusing to have five different digital modes going at once. Because if you're on DMR and somebody takes 20 seconds before they respond and someone's already on Fusion, it's going to jump right over to Fusion. It's best, I think, for Pi-Star to leave on the mode that you want. Now, in my vehicle, I'll probably most likely have D-Star on. But if you want DMR, turn DMR on and hit Apply. One other thing you want to know is the port here, you want to keep that on modem. Okay, the, the uh, display should be all default right here. Display type, oh, uh, let's see, next gen display. No, we want OLED. Let's see, I think I want this one. We'll hit apply. Now, it's going to apply and turn on the DMR mode. Now, again, not to get too technical into this configuration, everything uh, is in here for Pi Store. You can see how easy it is just to get into it and set it up the first time. Once you do this on a laptop, I'm going to recommend doing it afterwards. You could do it on a phone, but I'm going to recommend the first time you do this on the computer. So you have a bigger screen to see all the different settings that you have to manipulate to get this thing working. Good day, Evan. It's a good day here in Las Vegas. A little chilly, but really nice day. Okay, so that's it. The HCP1 Hot Chili Pepper by R Finder. Great device, seems solid, got a cool look to it, it's got a screen to it, it does everything you would need it to do. Uh, check out their website for more information. Check out Giga Parts for these that are uh, selling here. Again, HRCP is the code $30 off for the 30 days of this giveaway. And then we'll do a giveaway. Go to the other video on the other channel, subscribe, leave a comment, check out some of my other videos. I got the solar off-grid situation complete. I can sit outside in the front yard in sun with air conditioning and microwaves and TVs and ham radios off-grid completely at 72 degrees in my RV. It's great. So we're going to see a lot more videos when I go traveling on that thing. Until then, you might see some diesel stuff on there. You might see some ham radio out in the field on there. Subscribe to the Ponderosa. It's just my way of getting out away from the you know, ham radio stuff entirely and just doing whatever I want. So hope you can subscribe and uh, check out those videos. 7-3, everybody. Thanks for watching. More videos on the way. We've got a lot more stuff coming. So I hope you like the R Finder if you decide to get one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. And leave a comment and let me know what you want to see, including that Zygu G-Soc or G-S-O-C that is coming soon. And I'll be playing with that with a G90 and a 5105. Full pan adapter and more. Got to check that out. 7-3, everyone. KJ4YZI.